Hey guys, so I wanted to talk about the whole KL Polish fiasco, and I have some really good news. If you're a fan of uh, Kathleen Lights, if you're a fan of KL Polish, then I'm really happy to announce that she is actually starting her own brand called Lights Lacquer. So um, basically, like, I thought there might be trouble with KL Polish. I, I started having suspicions in the winter when, um, when they stopped restocking nail polishes and um, whenever people would talk about Das Expensive number 27 or yeah, it was supposed to be number 27 that would be coming out on her birthday in January because every year in January she puts out a new polish called Das Expensive and then the number beside it of the age that she's turning because that's her birthday is January and that she um, wasn't going to be doing it this upcoming year. So I thought that was odd and I was already like, oh man. I guess the brand is failing. Now at first, my, my first assumption was that, you know, maybe they just weren't making enough money. So, um, but it sounds like there's actually some trouble between her and the other owners because she's she shares the brand with a couple other people and she said she couldn't talk about it. About a week or so ago, she said that she couldn't talk about it, but that she wanted to. But, you know, of course, of course, you gotta make sure that, you know, you have a legal right to and. You know, and so she promised that um, sometime today, actually, she's going to be putting out a tell-all video about that, which I am excited to to listen to. And I feel kind of like, am I petty for wanting to hear her talk about this? But um, anyway, uh, up until now, the she hasn't said anything about Lights Lacquer. But a few days ago, I took a picture of my entire Kale Polish collection. I posted on Instagram and like the caption that I put was something like, Rest in peace, Kale Polish. Can't wait to see what you come up with next. Kathleen Lights, and I like, I like tagged her. So somebody DM'd me, and this is like I said, this is on Instagram. Somebody DM'd me and they were like, yeah, somebody on Reddit said that they found um, that she had, back in 2018, September 2018, she had filed for a trademark on the name Lights Lacquer LLC. So I was like, what? So I went to Reddit and like I looked that up and yeah, people were all talking about it that that somebody had found, I don't even know how they find something like this, but that she had um, started a new name, Lights Lacquer, that she tra had trademarked the name. And I was like, no way. But then at that time I was still thinking, and this was earlier on in this week, like five days ago. I was thinking, okay, well, maybe that's just something that she, you know, she, it's something she's thinking about, something maybe she'll put on the table or maybe she's just changing the name of Kale Polish, you know? I was like, okay, I'm not gonna make any assumptions yet. Um, but then yesterday I went on Instagram and somebody else that I was talking to about it in a different thread, she tagged me and she said, Lights Lack, or she like showed me that Lights Lacquer is actually an Instagram page. So yesterday Kathleen had actually set up a page called Lights Lacquer. The only put picture on there so far is it's just words and it says coming 2019. So I'm really excited for that. So I started following them, you know, and at this time I had no ill will towards, you know, kale polish. I just thought, I assumed, okay, they're probably just going their separate ways or whatever. But then I started seeing people were going nuts in the kale polish um, Instagram page and, and the pictures and stuff. People were saying, how dare you do this to Kathleen? And I'm sure some people are probably making some assumptions. But I started seeing people um, referencing a post that they made dissing Kathleen, which I thought was absolutely crazy. I mean, it's called KL Polish. KL is Kathleen Lights. I mean, if you take out the KL, it's just it's just nail polish. Like, what, I mean, they're using like her initials. And I just, I don't know, man, that like really rubbed me the wrong way. So apparently they were saying that KL Polish put up a post that said, Kathleen has left the chat. Like, like this snarky little like, I don't know, post that I just thought was kind of rude, but I didn't see it in time. Apparently they had taken it down right away, but people screenshotted it. So, you know, there's like a lot of people who have the receipts on that. And then I also saw, like, I was like, I looked at a different kale polish picture. This was all last night, like when I was getting ready for bed. And Kathleen actually posted on something, like somebody had put a question, they were like, are you gonna be restocking something or like that? And she put that to kale polish, but Kathleen herself, um, replied to her. She was like, I don't know, girl. She was like, I'm so out of the loop on this stuff, on everything. And it was just like, whoa. Okay. So she is like, actually, like, she seems like she's irritated. Like she's had enough of something. And then Kathleen on her own Instagram posted a video of her singing, don't mess with my brand. Like, you know, there's that song, don't mess with my man, but she was singing, don't mess with my brand. I was just like, man. Then also Kathleen Light's mom, 
I believe her name is like on Instagram. It's Rose is Marie. Like instead of Rose Marie, it's like R O S I S M A R Y. Um, she put, she wrote unfollow KL polish. I was just like, wow, this sounds, this does not sound like an amicable split. So yeah, I like the babushka in me is dying to hear Kay, Kathleen today tell exactly what had happened, you know? And I don't know how much detail she's going to go into it, but she says she promised that today she's going to be putting up a video. So like after I upload this, I'm going to go be looking for that. And if you guys are um, not subscribed to Kathleen, you know, you might want to look out for that, you know, to do a search Kathleen Lights, Lights Lacquer or something like that, or even Kathleen Lights Kale Polish. Apparently, like people were saying also that there was some weird stuff going on with the Kale Polish uh, YouTube channel. Um, I didn't see that or I didn't notice it. I do follow them on YouTube, but I didn't see it. I guess it got taken down right away, but people were saying that they had screenshotted some weird things on the Kale Polish channel. So that's interesting. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to be looking that up today to find out exactly what happened. But in the meantime, I'm so excited that she's going to actually be putting out another nail polish line that hopefully she'll have more control over. And also, I've always thought the name Kale Polish was so lame, like just such a missed opportunity, you know? And I really like that the new one is going to be called Light Slacker. I think that's way cooler. I'm so excited to see the packaging, see which colors she comes out with, see if she has some like fun names. I know that like somebody was talking about that they had suggested to her, they're like, because she loves to do like a lot of office themed ones that she wants one to be called Prison Mike, a purple, like Michael's band, hair band. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need that. I need to have that. <laughs> That'd be so funny. It's one of my favorite scenes from The Office. So, and then another person suggested, they're like, you need to put out a shade, like, like, like a dark shade and call it shady because like everything that just happened with Kale Polish, it sounds like it was pretty shady. Like I hear people were saying that she was being basically pushed out of her brand or like the other owners were just gonna kind of like drop her or fire her from her own brand. It's like, I can't even believe people can do that stuff to each other, you know, especially the person that, I mean, come on, like she is the reason that they, they, the business did well at all because I mean, pretty much everybody who buys Kale Polish are people who are subscribed to Kathleen's channel, you know? So it's like, we're, I mean, there's so many great brands out there of nail polish, but you know, it's like I buy from Kale Polish. Maybe this makes me sound pathetic, but it's because it's a little bit out of loyalty to Kathleen. I want to see her do well, and I really like her, and I really want to support her. Um, there are other, there are so many other brands of nail polish out there. Like, I hate to say it, but like, you guys aren't going to be missed. We're just going to follow her, or you know, even if she didn't start a new brand, we would just go to another nail polish company. Like, we're not going to stick with you guys that we don't even know. Like I said, like everybody who gets Kale Polish is subscribed to Kathleen Lights or is a fan of Kathleen Lights. Okay, well that's all for this video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close it off here. And if you have not done so already, please like and subscribe to my channel and come hang out with me sometime. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.